Spastic dystonia is a very complex presentation of spasticity complicated by involuntary changeable and unwanted spastic movements. He's trying to open his hand, but he's caught in a dystonic movement. Sometimes the hand pops open, but he can't really control it at will. Other times his hand will spontaneously grab something, but it quickly closes into a fist. When we ask him to do a functional task, he's actually a little bit better. And here he is able to use his hand to grab some blocks. But you can see that hand is very tight. And we really felt that it was coming from the intrinsics, the interossei and lumbricals to digits four and five, and possibly the median innervated as well. But mostly was an ulnar nerve phenomenon. Also, you can see that thumb position is very an ulnar nerve uh, position as it's adducted across. We did a nerve block to the ulnar nerve with such success below the elbow that we immediately went on to do a cryoneurolysis. It is here at three months. He's able to open and close the hand at will. And you can still see he tends to want to flex at the MCP joint, but he is able to open it. And he's now able to use it and he's playing with his kids. One month after the procedure, you can see he's starting to get better dexterity with the box and block, but interestingly, he's tending to use that first and second uh, fingers, which using a lot of median function. But he's learning and practicing the hand, and at three months, he's getting better. And if you look at the position of his hand, he's still using the first and second, but now he's adding the third finger, and he can actually use all of the fingers to do this function. So he's improving with time. We expect the duration of cryoneurolysis to begin to re innervate so the effect will be gone but we hope that the spastic component will not be and with training and physical therapy he should be getting better and better overall this was a successful cryonolysis procedure and of course it was doing the diagnostic nerve block first to see if it would help in fact we had also done a median nerve block which helped the finger flexion but the ulnar nerve was the one that proved that gave him the greatest uh improvement. And here we are demonstrating with a medical student how he was able to open his hand and shake after his first nerve block as a success.